Welcome Aquarians and um, this week I'm separating the reading to see how it's going. Um, it is still going to be under the energy of um, the air signs but you will have your own individual separated readings. So Aquarian, um, um, there is some sort of an investigation that is going to be taking place. Um, it could be some sort of an issue at the workplace where there is some sort of a yeah, it's as if they're in, they're trying to research something that was happening or transpiring. So be aware of this. Whatever is happening at the workplace, uh, be aware of it because there is some sort of a resolution or some sort of a situation that needs to resolve. Okay. You have the energy of the key. So some of you could be getting some sort of a promotion. You can see that is a promotion. Um, some of you could be moving, um, up the ladder some of you are going to be also getting a key for a car uh, um, a business uh, car um you could be um, your lease on your business car could be um changing so that could be a new car that is coming in some of you is moving up the ladder and could be getting the, the key to some sort of a um, um apartment um that sort of a thing um uh, you could be getting a new job promotion that comes with an, um, also an apartment. So that sort of a situation could be happening. Now, in the center of the week, uh, there is going to be some sort of an issue that is coming in. A whole lot of jealousy is uh, transpiring. And um, I'm going to change this around and show you because that was my first idea. To show you the pyramid, the pyra the pyramid of the week. Now, this is how it looks, and this is how I'm going to be moving forward doing um, the readings for you guys, which is much more um, um, understanding. Where this, you can see what is happening and transpiring. So, as I shift it around, you can see what is going to be transpiring instead of it sits on the side. So what we see here is some sort of a resolution um, because there is some sort of a situation that has transpired at the workplace. And I see they're going to be bringing up some sort of a resolution. So they're looking in something that was happening and is um, resolving the issues um, that was created by other people. Um, this issue could have been created by other people, but yet still this issue could have been created by um, someone who was just trying to create problems, okay? So what we see here is that some sort of a resolution is going to be coming in on Monday, okay? Um, and this resolution needs to come in because whatever that was transpired is as if people were, people were really, really... Um, doing things that was not above water. And it's as if the universal angel have stopped in now and realized uh, what people have done and how people have created uh, some sort of a um, problem with the work floor or problems for you on the work floor. And I see you Aquarians are going to be standing your ground, standing back and taking um, a look of the land and resolve uh, whatever the issues and whatever people have been throwing at you. So some sort of a positive resolution is going to be coming in. Some sort of a successful outcomes is going to be coming in because I see that they have been looking and investigating a situation that was happening and was transpiring. And it is going to be bringing you, Aquarian, some sort of a success as you move in this week. So you begin with number 33. This is a very successful um, situation. They could be um, investigating a Virgo, um, whoever this Virgo is and whatever is transpiring. Um, it could be a Virgo, but it could be also a Aquarian, Aquarian, or some of you um, businessmen and women are finding out that there was some sort of a discredit or there was some sort of a problem that people had created on the work floor. So I see managers, I see issues with managers and they could be investigating um, two managers, a man and a woman, and they are going to be offering you a position. So they could be um, I'm leaving and they're going to be offering you a position. So I see you Aquarians um, 
be on the lookout because they could be investigating. Um, it could be an air sign person, which is a Gemini, a Libran. Um, they're investigating two managers on the work floor. And uh, um, these two managers have done something deceptive. And now they're realizing what these two managers have done. And I see that they're going to be resolving the situation with what these two managers have done. And it's going to be realizing and showing up what these two managers have done. And that you could have been the one that found out what these two managers, how these two managers have worked together in order to create some unalic, um, 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 dishonest play. And they're going to be resolving and looking at the issue and finding out how they were, um, disrupting the work floor, the workflow and how they have created like a lot of problems and issues for other people. And it's basically because they're not aware of their work, their jobs, their duties. And this is the problem, what has transpired and what came up. And this is why they created this problem. So Tuesday and Wednesday is not going to be such a positive day. Whatever is happening and transpiring, um, people are going to be finding out because this week is about uh, some sort of a um, fraud that was created in a uh, in a company is going to be investigated. Some of you might know about it. Some of you might not know about it. Some of you are having issues with two um, boss or two supervisor. The woman is very, very disturbed. Is a very dishonest woman. So you have to be aware of this. So whoever this woman is and whatever is transpiring, this woman is very disturbed. So you got to be aware of this. So then we see the energy on Thursday is going to be good. This energy is some sort of an unexpected uh, um, business is going to be coming in for some of you if you're a business person some sort of an unexpected business on Thursday is like you could receive like a big um order or that sort of a thing but um um and that is going to be affecting a lot of business people so some sort of a good good news is going to be coming in on Thursday for the business people for the rest of the people Thursday um the everything is going to be resolved on Thursday um, whatever that was, the issues and the problems that was transpiring on Thursday. On Thursday, everything is going to be resolved. And that is where you're going to be understanding and realizing what was going on and why these people was being um, so horrible against some of you. And then you're going to be realizing there was some sort of a dishonest play that was being resolved. Okay, so Thursday is going to be an absolutely, absolutely good day. Then when we look at um, Friday, Friday, um, some sort of a successful event is going to be transpiring. So this is what I said. This is a really powerful week uh, because half of the week is resolving some sort of issues that has been transpiring between managers. And um, this issue is really between managers and the rest of the other half of the week is uh, some unexpected surprises is going to come in. So on Friday, some sort of a real unexpected surprises, some surprises that you were not. You didn't see the surprise coming in. And I see a lot of you are going to be thankful and grateful for this unexpected surprise that is going to be coming in because people are going to be um, on top of their games and it's going to be um, opening doors of opportunities for you, Aquarians. So this is looking good. So whatever that was happening and transpiring, you Aquarians could be helping people to resolve some sort of an issue that was happening in a, uh, in a company that you're working with. And you're going to be regaining and taking back the power of what is happening and transpiring. A lot of you as Scorpion could be helping you out, whatever is happening and transpiring. I see a Scorpion is going to be coming in. Um, some of you are going to be overcoming some sort of issues that people had created for you um, and some of you are aware some of you are not aware but for the people who are aware you had some problems because people was basically you know like working um working you around like working you uh, working against you and kind of pushing you on the side con and the side and i see that they're going to be realizing what was happening and what was transpiring and this is going to be good because you're going to be able to resolve whatever the issues um, that was happening and transpiring. And you're going to be creating a positive alignment for yourself by moving forward. So I see 
a lot of you are really picking up and becoming the leader that you are. And this is a wonderful alignment of energy. There is no question about it. This um, situation is aligning you in a positive direction and you got to be aware of this so that you can be aligned with the right and proper energies. Again, ladies and gentlemen, from um, from now on, um, um, you're going to be, um, from now on, what is going to be transpiring is that you are going to be um, using a link in order to pick up your own uh, zodiac reading in, in the monthly. So it's not going to be coming out separate. It's going to be under the energy of the hair because uh, um, an Aquarian is an air sign. So you can, um, from now onwards, you can just uh, use the link, um, go below, you will see um, where it breaks in the video and you will know where Aquarian is, okay? I do love you guys. Um, let me know how it went for you in this week. Um, we are moving on. So I'm saying namaste until next time gemini's uh, welcome this is the third week of december i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back so let's see what is happening in your um business career money and uh, world section what is happening on the work floor what is happening in your business what is happening in your collaboration so 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 um gemini's so um, I see some sort of a luck with a house is going to be transpiring for you. Um, this is going to be good. Um, so on Monday, some sort of a good news is going to be coming in. I think that's something that you, you Gemini's was open for. It could be a promotion or, um, increase in your salary, but it's something that you were hoping for and, um, was really wishing for and it's going to be happening some of you are going to be receiving some sort of a management position and this is going to be good so monday tuesday is going to be absolutely fabulous um fabulous whatever is happening and transpiring i see monday tuesday is going to be on um some sort of an unexpected uh, um situation is going to be transpiring i see luck is here and some sort of an unexpected luck is going to be coming in now, a lot of you Geminis, um, you're standing in your own reading and um, it's as if some of you Geminis are going to be blocking something in this week, blocking a contract, blocking a long term contract, blocking. It's as if you Gemini are ending contracts for someone and making sure that someone didn't have a long term contract. And there it is. You're seeing it because of. Uh, um, the center of the week is the energy of number 21 and it is uh, the energy of block. And what you, uh, Gemini's, um, you Gemini's uh, have blocked someone from moving forward. And it's not really, um, positive, um, in the sense that uh, you have to understand whatever you do to another person, it is going to be returning to you. And whatever you Gemini's have done, uh, I see that you're going to be blocking a long-term contract for someone and it's as if the person was supposed to um, be in permanent, um, uh, permanent, uh, like long-term contract in, um, you blocked it. And it, it, you know, it's, um, it's, uh, it's not really honest, um, what has happened because I see that this person could have been good for a business, but, um, you block this long-term contract for whatever the reason is. Uh, I see it's, it, it is coming from a sense of jealousy. Now, um, it has to do with a Sagittarian person. Some sort of a block for a Sagittarian and a tower moment is going to be coming down because it's as if uh, some of you um, Virgos, uh, Geminis, my excuses, uh, see um, a problem where a Sagittarius had created some sort of a problem. And I see that you're blocking um, this contract. It's as if uh, you had a contract with a Sagittarian person and you're blocking this contract from, and you're bringing down a tower moment for this person and this long-term contract. So it's as if uh, someone in your corporation institution had a long-term business contract, like an indefinite work contract and i see that you're ending this and it is a sagittarian whoever the sagittarian is and whatever is transpiring 
Um, it's, it's affecting a Sagittarian, okay? Um, we see also a lot of you are bringing a tower moment down on a Leo also. So I see the ending is coming in for a Leo. So whatever long-term contract that a Leo and a Sagittarian have, I see you Gemini's or um, dissolving this contract in this week. Uh, whatever the issues, whatever the problem, whatever the situation um, between you and a Sagittarian and a Leo, or it could be the Sagittarian is the Leo's, um, uh, the Sagittarian is the Leo's uh, uh, loyal or intermediate. I see your, I see your bringing down a long-term contract, dissolving a long-term contract that a Sagittarian and a Leo had. So some of you is going to be a Sagittarian. Some of you is going to be a Leo, but I see um, you hold the rain in your hand and whatever is transpiring, I see that you, um, Gemini's are the one that is going to be making the decision about these two people and their con long term contract because it has to do with a long term contract that, um, this person could have been working at a company for many, many years, but, uh, it's as if you decided uh, no more whatever this person has done and whatever that was transpiring and the information that you're receiving about this person, you decide you're going to be ending it. So I see um, um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, it's not going to be good for some of you Virgos because it could be that um, these people are doing it to you Virgos, okay? So it could be that um, a Sagittarian is... Uh, ending your long-term contract it could be vice versa because this this is your reading but it could be happening vice versa so whatever is happening and transpiring is that they're ending a contract or a long-term contract they're making the changes making the difference and ending this contract so um it is about contract and it's about some sort of a long-term documentation that you gemini have that is going to be ending and it is um and i i see um, some of you Gemini's are happy. Um, it could be you dissolving this contract because you're moving to another business or another um, corporation. So it could be you dissolving this contract. But it is going to be some sort of a situation where a blockage is there. And this is why I say to you guys, order your personalized reading or go check out the monthly readings in order to see what is happening in transpire because that is going to be advising you as to where you're moving forward and what is going to be happening in this third week so go back and look at your monthly readings um or if you pick up the extended extended is just a dollar 99 for a month the whole month you can listen to all the readings find out what is coming out with your bosses uh, and that sort of a thing so um gemini the first um two days of the week monday tuesday is going to be um, so wonderful, really. Monday, Tuesday is going to be absolutely um, wonderful. As we move to Wednesday, some sort of a blockage is, and it could be that some sort of a blockage is that was created for um, you, um, Gemini. So it says you're looking for a job. You weren't get, receiving a job. You were being blocked. And I see this block is going to be resolved. A tower moment is going to be bringing down this block that was created. So Gemini, be aware and um, be advised as what is going on. It looks like a good week. So it could also be that if you notice, you were blocked. It's as if you Geminis were blocked from something, blocked from someone, some sort of a problem, some sort of an issue, some sort of a situation that you were dealing with. It was as if people had blocked you from some sort of a... Uh, uh, accomplishment that you could have accomplished and they're going to be realizing or you're going to be realizing this block is going to be coming down because you see the energy of the tower um, and this is going to be happening um, against the block of some sort of a long-term situation so it could have been that some of you Gemini is in a job for or is in is in a position for a very long time and someone um had blocked you so you couldn't move up the ladder or blocked you from receiving um better um wages block you from receiving promotions and this block is going to be ending in this week so it, it is a very very positive alignment of energy um, some of you are going to be signing a contract in 
the beginning of the week, some of you are going to be receiving a message that you have got the promotion or the job that you wanted. Some of you are going to be receiving some real positive news about your business, some sort of a financial help, stability you are looking for in your business. You're going to be receiving really some positive, positive news. So that is going to be good. Some of you that was hoping to relocate, um, relocate your business um, to another place. Yes, um, this relocation is going to be taking place. And I see a wonderful, um, it's as if unexpectedly, um, you know, you were bidding on relocating your business to another place, to a smaller place. Uh, that is, and you're going to be receiving the news in the, the beginning of the week. So this is really, really good. And it's going to be unexpected because some of you had given up and said, yeah, well, maybe I'm not going to get that pawn because so, so many people are vying for this pawn. But um, you receive this pawn. So it is a very, very wonderful and very positive. So um, this is really a good um, alignment of energy that is going to be coming up. And I want to advise you, um, Gemini's, that from now, you have to look for your weekly readings. They're all going to be separated now. So each and every uh, hair sign is going to be having their readings separated. But you have to look on to the heading of uh, where um, hair signs, um, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran. Then you are going to be choosing the timeline. You can see it on the video where the timeline begin. If you put your end over the video, you see where the timeline begin for Gemini. Or you can just look under the video and you see where your timeline begin. Okay. So wonderful alignment of energies. I want to say um, to you, Gemini's, uh, um, just uh, keep strong, be strong, um, keep strong, be strong. Um, you know, in in every week there is some sort of obstacles, uh, but this is as if uh, um, the tower moment is coming down to what whoever and whatever that was blocking you in order to acquire the long term stability that you wanted in a in a company or with your um with your uh, with your company or in a corporate world in the corporate world like someone was really blocking you and this block is going to be lifted because now people are really seeing um how good you are at what you do so gemini just stick in there because it's going to be releasing in this week it's going to be positive positive alignment of energy and you're going to be okay so nothing to worry about except expect some sort of a good news coming in in um the first two days of the week and uh, be happy and leave a message let me know what happened for you gemini in this week namaste okay liberals welcome um to the first week the third week um readings for you liberals of the month of december this is our timeless reading. So whenever the, um, you receive this reading is the time that you should receive this reading. All right, Librans. Um, this timeline is, uh, it was uploaded, um, um, dare to wake the third week in December. All right. Okay. I see you're dealing with a lot of managers in this week, Librans. Um, people in power, um, some sort of, uh, Government organization institution, some of you Libra men could be having problems with a tax company. That sort of a thing could be coming up for you Librans. Some of you Librans are going to be finding out that you have an enemy. So um, you have a male enemy Librans, whoever and whatever is happening, you're going to be realizing that you have a male enemy, you Librans. So you're dealing with a lot of boss or people 45 years and older, a lot of you. And uh, a lot of people, I see some sort of a changes is coming up for your enemy. So a lot of you could have dealing with an enemy on the work floor. Changes is coming up for this person. A lot of changes is, a, is as if uh, a lot of you liberals are at a crossroad in your life, especially men. Um, you are at a crossroad in your life. You could be having some sort of issues with your boss and be aware because you have a male enemy at the workplace. So liberals, men, you have a male enemy at the workplace. Be aware of this, whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring. But I see a crossroads, 
a lot of you men are coming up to a crossroads because you have some sort of an issue with your boss. You have some sort of an issue with your boss and you're coming up at a crossroads. So be aware of it. Um, so a lot of you is going to be receiving some sort of a message. Um, you're definitely going to be receiving some sort of a message. It could be emotional. Um, it could be some sort of information that someone is advising you. Um, that is a Pisces. A Pisces could advising you or giving you some sort of a message or news that you weren't aware of, Libran. Um, so a Pisces is going to be letting you know that you have an enemy, a male enemy on the work floor. So be aware of this. Uh, a lot of you are dealing with a Gemini boss. This could be a Gemini boss. Um, this man is very deceptive. And you got to be aware of this. This man is very, very deceptive. So you have to be aware of who this person is because this is a very deceptive person. I see some sort of a transition is coming up for this person. So on Monday and a lot, and, and this week is going to be a very powerful week. It is um, a hard number, 20, 22, number 22. So it's going to be a very hard number. And what that says for you is that uh, um, you are going to be at a crossroad because you find out that you have an enemy uh, on the work floor and this person is a manager or in a manager position. And you're going to be finding out that this person has been working against you. So as we look at Tuesday, men, um, whatever has transpired, you definitely are going to be finding out that your boss is your worst enemy. That's not a good position to be in men um, because they can throw you under the bus. Okay, so whatever is happening and transpiring with you men and you recognize that your boss or your um, associate or your business associates is your biggest enemy, I would say dissolve the contract between you and this person and move forward because it's not going to be working out. This person is always going to be working against you. So you have to dissolve the contract and let it go and move away from whatever is happening and transpiring because you're going to be finding out that this person is always going to be working against you. Okay. Then we are looking um, at the center of the week and the center of the week is that um, some sort of a management problem, some sort of a um, problems with a Gemini. So some of you are having some sort of a problems and you're going to be finding out that um, if a gem, a Gemini is your greatest enemy in a, a, on the work floor and is going to be creating a whole lot of issues and problems for you. When we look at Thursday, Thursday, some sort of a news is coming in of changes. Um, and this news of changes, it could be a change of a salary increase or, um, some sort of a changes of time. Um, you're going to be receiving less time or you're going to be receiving less days next year. So um, that, because it's going to bring some sort of an emotion. Now, it can be positive emotion while it could be negative emotion. So it's better to go back and look at um, the monthly readings to find out what is aspiring in the third week in order for you to be aware and on top of your game with the energy of the third week and finding out what is, what is coming up or what is going to be transpired. Friday is going to be good because some sort of a news is going to come in. So Thursday news is going to be coming in about changes. So it would be time, days, less work hours. Friday, it is going to be positive because it could be um, some sort of a message about uh, a gift card or something from the workplace that is going to be coming in. Okay. So Monday, Tuesday is the days that you guys need to really look out for because that is where you're dealing with someone who is working against you. And that is where you need to look out for whoever these people in this issue and the situation that these people have been creating for you. And what we're seeing here is that some of you, your bosses, has come to a crossroad. Your bosses have come to a, a crossroad and uh, they have come to a crossroad where they have to make some sort of an emotional decision. If some people are going to be um, kept on, on uh, you know, kept on working 
or or these people are going to be um showed um given less days or less hours so i see a lot of you are going to be ha having the options uh, as you will take less hours or less days because i see that your managers are having some sort of an issue um, they're at a crossroad as to whether or not uh, they are going to be able, through this COVID virus, uh, um, to have uh, some sort of a, um, uh, extended period or work endeavor. Um, is it the business going to survive another year with this COVID and how are they going to be dealing with it and uh, trying to keep their um, employees, but also um, trying to figure out uh, what does their financial uh, situation looks like. So it is a lot. There is no question about it. It is a lot that is going to be coming up in transpiring. You have to make some sort of a choices, especially if you are a manager. You have to make some sort of a choices. I see some of you men realize that you're really at a crossroads. I see some of you men need to dissolve a partnership that you have because this partnership um, you're not realizing that your partner is your biggest um, enemy at this moment and you need to dissolve this partnership because you realize that your partner has been draining the company, the organization, and you need to be realizing what is happening and what is transpiring. So when we look at business, it's as if a lot of you managers or a lot of um, people who are in managers, management position or having some sort of a issue. Some of you um, um, could be having some sort of an issue with your boss. You can see this is as if some of you uh, reach a crossroad, but this person realizing that, you know, this person has been always throwing you under the bus for their own fault and won't take, uh, um, take you know, take advantage. They take advantage of you because every time that something goes false, they give you the blame. And I see that some of you are going to be realizing, no, this is not what I want. And this is not where I'm going. And this is not what I want to basically do. So however this is coming up and transpiring, you're going to be realizing that you're going to be just making some sort of a um, decision by just uh, not, uh, some sort of a decision by not taking, um, you know, not being the person who is always being stamped on or used as a, 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 you know, a beating mat or so, is that you're going to be standing up for yourself um, in this um, week and just saying it to your boss, you know, I'm always there, but I'm always getting, um, you know, and it doesn't really matter whether it's COVID or COVID or, or not. You need to tell people um, when they're walking over you and how far they're going because this needs to be resolved because you can realize that some of you are very unhappy because you realize that this people is really, this person is really paying against you. So I got to go, but um, leave a message. And remember, as of now, you have to um, look at the link or put your finger over the video to find out where is the liberance. You are a air sign person and we're going to be holding you um, the energy, but each and every person is going to have their separate reading. So I love you guys. Please let me know how you find this um, style of the reading. I gotta go. Namaste.